When they reach their teenage years, most girls start to contemplate falling in love for real and getting married to their soulmate. But one teen in particular is not and will never be able to experience those things. The reason will shock you. Do you ever just look up at the night sky and marvel at what's up there? Looking at the stars give more people a sense of wonder and majesty. It makes them feel as though they're part of something far bigger than them. For others, it gives them a sense that they're small and insignificant in comparison to the enormity of it all. But for 19-year-old Alyssa, it made her feel something completely different altogether. Alyssa was a girl who had always been fascinated in space and what is out there beyond the confines of our planet. Ever since she was a little girl, she had always been charmed by stars and spaceships and the night sky and growing up, she would not play with dolls and things like that with her friends, but she would have her head buried in a book about space. Or she would be flying around toy rockets. It's fair to say that Alyssa wasn't your average girl. But as she grew, she started to get to the age where she was interested in boys, and boys were interested in her. In fact, she bonded with a few of them over their shared love of space. She, of course, had crushes on boys at school, and she even had several boyfriends, but nothing lasts forever at that age. It was all good fun though, and a good experience. But reaching her late teens, Alyssa began to feel a sense of worry and emptiness inside of her. There was a reason for that, of course, but it was one that she tried to keep to herself. Going through college, Alyssa started to meet more mature boys who, for the most part, were ideal for girls like her. They were fun, understanding, and shared many of her passions and interests. She found that she was physically attracted to some of them, while the others she found intellectually engaging and amazing. Alyssa even went on a few dates with some of them, trying to enjoy college life. But still, that strange, empty feeling remained. It wasn't until she met Neil that she felt a little bit different. Neil was both charming and funny, while being strikingly handsome and intellectual. He, like Alyssa, had an interest in astronomy, and they could talk about things that to other people's ears may sound boring and uninteresting. But to them, they were riveting. They became good friends, and over the next few months, they started to get closer and closer. Neil even asked her out on a date, and the two of them went for a meal, then to play Crazy Gold before watching the sunset together. It was a perfect first date, and the first of many. Their relationship went on for months. The two of them became as close as could be and would walk around hand in hand, go to the cinema and on nights out, study together, party together and do everything you would expect boyfriends and girlfriends to do. But they never officially became a couple. Despite Neil being eager to get into a relationship with her, Alyssa never wanted to make things official. Neil found it strange and a little jarring, but still the two of them were happy. So who was he to deny them that happiness? So they carried on, blissfully living their life together, going to college and spending time with each other. Alyssa found herself waking up every morning smiling, happy to have Neil in her life. She would think about him all the time. Her stomach filled with butterflies whenever she saw him and her heart soared when he would talk to her or touch her. In fact, if Alyssa didn't know any better, she'd say that she was falling in love? Oh no. That couldn't happen. That just couldn't happen. And love was not in the cards for Alyssa. It wasn't anything to do with Neil. He was amazing. But she just couldn't fall in love. So Alyssa tried to put a little emotional distance between the two of them. She would avoid Neil as much as she could. And despite their amazing chemistry, she reverted to treating him as just a friend. As opposed to more than that. Neil persevered though. And eventually the two became close again. The attraction was undeniable but Alyssa would always make a concerted effort to not get too close. Even when Neil admitted that he loved her, she did not reply in kind. Still, other than that, things seemed to be back on track and as they were. The two of them seemed happy and they carried on like this for many months. But of course, the old issues would rear their heads again and derail the relationship, if that's what you call it. Neil could not understand why he was being kept at arm's length and why Alyssa was trying not to let herself get too emotionally close to him. It was a push and pull situation. And while he knew that Alyssa made him happy, he didn't know where he stood with her. 
and he also didn't know that there was a reason for that. And it was the same reason that fueled that small, sad, empty feeling with Alyssa. But no matter how much he tried, Neil just couldn't get through to her. Not completely. Neil decided that enough was enough, and he would face the subject head on. Why could they not make their relationship official? Why would she not say I love you back to him? Had he done something wrong? Was he not right for her in some way? Neil could imagine the two of them getting married, moving in together, and even starting a family. He questioned Alyssa, and she finally broke down and started talking, explaining everything. And as she spoke, Neil sat there, his mouth slowly dropping open in shock and disbelief. You see, while in her youth, Alyssa had attended space camp every single year. She loved going and expanding her knowledge and understanding of what was out there. But while on the program, she had set her sights on a life goal, one that had stuck at the forefront of her mind ever since she heard about it. She had seen a poster about becoming the first person on Mars, and something in her mind had grabbed hold of that idea. She had applied and hopefully would get chosen to be one of the lucky few to leave the planet. From that point, she would train to become an astronaut and begin to learn all there was to know about what to expect and what to do on Mars. The prospect of being the first person on the red planet was one that set her heart fluttering. It would be an honor and a task that would help further humanity and its reach in the universe. She could help establish a base on Mars where people could live and the new civilization could start to grow and thrive. We would not just be an earthbound species. Her parents were understandably taken aback by her decision to pursue this dream, and while at first they thought it was just a silly idea, they soon realized that Alyssa was serious. Neil went through a similar journey. When she first explained her reasons to him, he couldn't understand why they couldn't be together while she waited for her dream to come true. But the sad truth was that the trip to Mars would more than likely be a one-way voyage, and there would be no coming back to Earth once she had left which is why Alyssa had to try her best to keep people at arm's length. She didn't want to become attached to anyone and fall in love, because it would only end in hurt and heartbreak for both parties. If it came down to choosing between the mission to Mars and staying to be in a relationship, Mars would win every time. She may feel herself being pulled towards Neil, and she may also agree that if she had had her goals set on an earthbound dream, then she could no doubt have been happy and in a loving and healthy relationship with him. That was why she felt that sadness inside of her, but at the same time, Alyssa's heart belonged to Mars and to the future of humanity. And while some people may struggle to come to terms with that, Alyssa never had any doubts. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? How would you feel about being one of the first people to travel to Mars? Could you, like Alyssa, try to distance yourself from other people in order not to get overly attached or fall in love? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.